Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how to create Azure DevOps service connection for JFrog Artifactory. You can see here, I am in one of my project, Go project, it is Golang based. And if you click on left side, project settings here, down corner left, scroll down on left side under pipelines, you'll see service connections. And on the right corner here, new service connection, click on this. And you'll get lots of options to create service connections to AWS, Azure Resource Manager, Chef, Docker Host, Docker Registry, and some other external services. You will not find Artifactory option here. For that, you need to install the free plugin provided by JFactory. You can search JFrog extension for Azure DevOps in Google. When you search something like this, uh, you'll find Artifactory Azure DevOps extension. And here you can go to Visual Studio Marketplace. This way you'll get the free JFrog Art Artifactory extension to connect. And you click there and you can install it. So you can select your organization and then install it. Once you have installed it, you have to come back to new service connection and then scroll down and search for JFrog Artifactory. So you can scroll down and see JFrog Artifactory option here and JFrog distribution. So we are going to create service connection for JFrog Artifactory. So click on it, say next, and it will show there are two methods to connect Artifactory. One is basic authentication and another is token-based authentication. So first you'll see how to use basic authentication. It requires server URL. So you need to find the server URL for your Artifactory, which is nothing but the domain name which it registers for your Artifactory. Copy that. So this is server URL, then provide your username and the password. You can click verify, but most of the time it may fail. So need not worry about that. Give some service connection name and then grant access to access permission to all the pipelines. Verify and save if you will mention. Sometimes it will give you error like this. I normally do not verify and save without verification. And this is saved here. Now, if you want to create using access token, which will not need provide username password. So we'll create new service connection again. Select JFrog Artifactory. Next, select token based authentication this time. Server URL is same. And here, instead of username password, you have to just give access token, which is generated for that user. Now to get this access token, you need to go back to your Artifactory. Go to settings, administrator settings. Under identity and access, click on access tokens. Select a user and click on generate admin token. It will give you some options here and you can click on generate. There are two ways actually, if you will set token expiry, then you won't be able to re revoke that token. It will expire after that many hours. So I'm just going with the default option here, generate and copy this whole token, close and go back to Azure DevOps and provide this token. Once token is given, give some name to it. And here I will say without verification. So you can see it's easy to create connection, service connection with Artifactory. There is one more type of connection with Artifactory where you can use Artifactory as a Docker container registry. So you can build your Docker container images and save them in Artifactory. For that type of connection, click new service connection again, scroll down, select Docker registry. So Docker container registry, if you are using Docker Hub as your Docker container registry, then select this option, or you can use Azure container registry to save your Docker images. But because I'm trying to use Artifactory, so I will select the other option here. This Docker registry URL is nothing but your Artifactory server URL. So go back to your Artifactory and copy the URL. Docker ID is nothing but your login for Artifactory and password. Email is optional, give a name to it and grant access permission to other pipelines and click save. I will not save it because I have already created. So you can see it's very easy to create service connection for Artifactory. One is basic authentication way where you just provide username password. Another is using token and you can create connection with Artifactory for Docker registry. If you are using Artifactory as your container registry, we will see in the next session how you can use this service connection in the build pipeline and in the release pipeline. Thanks for watching this. See you in the next session.